previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey, dickhead! Get the fuck out of here! Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other. But you will respect me. Hello, black cow. Chloe, do something! Hey, do you know if Rachel is a gamer? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe. If one day, I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. Ah! And that woman was definitely not my mom. Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then we're just sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. was violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was broken. Do you recall what that was? Oh, now I can finally speak. Oh, uh, anyway. Hey, everyone, I am Art, and this is Life is Strange Before the Storm, Chapter 2. We are jumping right into it, as you can see. Um, this is the people. Um, the I can't really remember their names. But, uh, yeah, so I am just going to go with Say Nothing. She ain't no snitch. Even though she's, no. snitch, she's not really Let snitching me refresh your memory. right now. We agreed that you but, would yeah. rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did. In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Disregarding posted signs about trespassing on the stage. Oh, yeah. Whoops. <laughs> implications of that. possible drug-related activities. What do you mean? What does that mean? Yes. What does that mean? God it said. means Miss Price has developed a reputation as a user of marijuana. And I would strongly recommend you take a careful look through her room at home. Ooh. Shall I continue? Witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan Prescott. What? If I involved didn't... means not sticking out my neck for Blackwell's richest ass child. I didn't realize that was a crime. Your lack of awareness yeah, does not absolve you of anything, Miss Price. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. 
It will be handled separately. Oh, okay. Reassure mom. Mom Wells. Uh, reassure mom. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? Chloe, now is not the time. God. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Rice, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made her do it. What? 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 <laughs> Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam. I mean, that's true. I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. <laughs> That you allowed me to drag you down to my Can level. Acting chops. Can you forgive me? Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make <laughs> it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's true. No, stop asking me. Totally I mean not true. She really is an amazing actress. I mean, it's Price. partially true, but I guess some of the best, um, you know, the best lies have a hint of truth in them. Should I say BS? Yeah, fine. Ooh, I don't know. Yeah, fine. Sure. Fine. Yes, it was her idea, but it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Ray. <laughs> just to be clear, First Ms. name Amber, basis. You're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you? Or wow, coerce they're really trying. Her? They're really I'm trying. just trying to get to the bottom of why someone like Rachel... Oh, I think we're clear, Principal Wells. Someone like Rachel, but not my daughter. Excuse me? Do you have a list of students you assume the worst about? Yes, they do. Enjoy the show. Ooh. Enjoy the show. You have no right to treat Chloe this way. This is because she's on financial aid, isn't it? Let's all just calm down. After everything we've... She's been through in the last two years, you should be ashamed of yourself. Miss Price. Mrs. Price. Mrs. Price. I appreciate your position, but I assure you, it is only your daughter's past behavior that has led us here today. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised <laughs> as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have not. squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. <laughs> That's and like you will worst. no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance oh, of the Tempest. Oh, okay. That probably hurt. That one probably oh. hurt. <sighs> what? Are you insane? Your discipline is still pending, Miss Price. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, don't Mr. You think, Amber, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run <laughs> my school. He's like, but I give you money. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances. 
accidental and deliberate. I'm sure you're understudy. Victoria Chase. Oh, no. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. Oh, no. Screw that, that girl. Is what such... was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next. Oh, boy. Unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Boy. <laughs> go along with Rachel. Take the blame. Blame, Not only baby. Is Rachel missing the play for me? But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. This is going to be Harvard. Choose to admit. Okay. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe, <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was Little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted <clears throat> her responsibility. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? Wells, you should confess to falling for her crap. I don't blame you, though. She's one hell of an actress. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. You don't tell me what to do. We're not friends. You do you. You don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not one of your sycophants. I'm a lone wolf. And you're a little red riding hood. Welcome to grandmother's house, bitch. <laughs> Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. Mr. Wells, I'm sorry for exposing the flaws in your campus security. This must be very embarrassing for you. Wow. Went down in flames. I've heard enough. Oh. Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. You will not be removed from the play. Was that so hard? Thank you. And Miss Price, I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year with a chance for reinstatement in the fall. And now? You are yep. expelled. What? No. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That's for her mom. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. That, maybe that wasn't a great idea, but I did it anyway. Yeah, whatever. I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price. I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really hey. should be going. Oh, nice I was waiting you. for one of them to say something crazy. Like, your daughter messed, messed ours up. She's Mom, so mad. I'll I'm see you. In the parking lot. I know, she's so upset. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me. Hey, Skip. Fuck them. Bunch of fascists. Skip. I hey, mean, Skip. Uh, just wanted to say it sucks what is happening to you. Thanks, Skip. You're gonna be missed. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. 
Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Makes sense. Dad got Bongo from the rescue shelter. Then he got run over by a car. Damn. Moral of the story, no one's ever really lost me. That's... Oh, that, that was rough. That was a rough one. Hearing that. Homework. <laughs> Love how every time oh. someone tells me how much potential I have, it's right before saying how I'm wasting it all. Trash it. I used to throw away my Fs too. F in a chat for Chloe's uh, high school career. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well. Wonder who will grace this space after me. Oh, you should write. Sign it. Chloe Price. The most. Um, wait, why, why are they telling me to look at this locker? Having Justin as my locker neighbor was oh. one of the few not shitty things about this place. Oh, okay. Maybe chem was the class I hated the least. Was it stashed in? Oh, no. Put it in the garbage. Damn. Just throw <laughs> He's like, uh, hello? Eh, she'll just throw them all. Is that, is that like half a bagel? <laughs> He's just sitting there watching like, well, those are textbooks, but whatever. I should write a poem to mark the occasion. Something with <laughs> imagery. I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh well. You could still do it. Absolutely, positively the best concert of 2008. Too bad it's time to go. You don't actually have to throw that in the garbage. I remember um, in my locker in my high school, uh, I had a picture, I had an image of uh, basically a video girl. And basically, I mean... Finally, what I actually came here for. I mean, basically, her ass cheeks were just out. Just completely out. And I remember my English teacher, I think his, I can't remember his name, Mr. Burns or something like that, walked up and was like, Listen, she's beautiful, but you got you got to take that down. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, all right, yeah, okay, sir. <laughs> I was so upset though. Jack but to be honest, I I didn't need it. I didn't need the picture. I don't even Wait. know why I put it up, but I did. What yeah. the hell? Damn it, Justin. Oh, that's funny. Well, there's there's your secret stash. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me. Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? Vian on this bathroom. Is she about to tag this whole place up? Okay. Well, and you're all doing it. Well, this is going to get demonetized. Not demonetized. Why do I keep saying that? Demonetized. And that, um, copyright. It's gonna get claimed. It's claimed. It's claimed. Listen, it's a very nice song, and I really like it, but I, I wish. I just wish. That's a really nice account, actually. She's actually pretty good at the artwork and stuff. Is she, she gonna do it? Do it. No, she's not gonna do it. There will be consequences. And I give up. At this point, I just give up. The song is gonna. The song songing and. There's nothing I can do about it at this point. Other than. Other than just mute it. Blind. I put the video up.
episode two, Brave New World. All right, so that's what it is. It's episode two, not chapter two. All right. Oh my God, please. Please. Thumbs up. That's that's pretty cool too. Um. Insubordinate. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, no, she sucks too. Her and that Nathan kid suck because of what happened. And that other girl sucks. Literally did nothing. And oh boy. Uh oh. seen that weird wind again that wind that made me think rachel had powers later skip later looks like david's here awesome She's putting a lot into this girl. Um, Alright, so I can run around. Wait, what? What was that? Blackwell's criminal element strikes again. Better go before the bells brings it on me. Ooh. I guess these stage lights are for the Tempest. Graffiti. Hmm. What could the Tempest use more of? Anarchy. All that's left is to get arrested. Journal. Hmm. Cigarette butts. But whenever I needed to bum one, no one here smokes. Fuck this place. She's very no upset. No more extracurricular activities. No more curricular activities, either. Oh, look, Elliot! Maybe they'll use my scholarship money to finally fix this pothole. Yo, what's up, man? Hey, Elliot. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. I was expelled. Wait, really? Holy shit! I know. Oh, my, uh... I'm surprised it took this long, too. Oops. Do you want a hug? <laughs> uh... No thanks? Um, okay. I don't know, that's a weird thing to say. Mm. Let's not make a big deal out of this. Oh, sorry. Right, yeah. Was Rachel Amber involved? Yeah. And let me guess, did she get off scot-free? Well, yeah. But she tried to cover for me. Uh-huh. Anyway, what are you doing here? I thought I should come early to grab tickets. Oh, yeah. For the Tempest? You said we might see it yeah, together. Yeah, true. Uh, right. Good call. Did you get my text? About hanging out afterwards? Uh, yeah, maybe. Ditching the show. Sorry, no. Honestly, I don't remember it, so I'm just gonna put sorry, no. Sorry, Elliot, but I'm probably gonna hang out with that, Rachel. That's not what you I know, thought was going to be show today. celebration Ooh, and was gonna whatever. Oh. Cool. That makes sense. I better go. My mom is waiting to stick her attack mustache on me. Her Gosh. boyfriend. Don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. Yeah. Later. Wait, is he one of those, like, mean guys? 
like secretly like he wants to do everything he can for I you. Guess this fire is no joke. If you, Still can't believe Rachel started it. But if you like, I don't know. Say no to him. He turns into like a horrible person. Three guesses whose bike this is, and they all start with Miss Grant. Damn. I guess I will miss one thing about this place. Oh, Miss Grant. Miss Grant, I think, is the chem chemistry teacher in the book. She left. Max would have loved this shit. She keeps mentioning Max. Wells's car. Crushing spirits must pay pretty well. Or uh, Rachel's dad. Well, not Rachel's dad. Taking pride in Blockwell Athletics means taking pride in yourself. Also, the trustees and their enormous bank accounts. Yeah, them. Them, the trustees. I guess that's it. I guess I don't have anywhere else to go. At least I'll have uh, plenty of free time to take up skateboarding again. If I feel like it. Did I check this guy out? His head much? That oh, has skip. to be Skip's yeah. car. Whose car is this? Nothing. Flyer. I think I've seen the flyer sticker. Let's look at the sticker. My other vehicle is drama. Who, who is... Uh, Alright, whatever. Anyway, I'm going to go over here because it looks like there's stuff over here. That's what they do best here at Blackwell. Empty things out and toss them aside. Oh it's boy, about this damn be bad. time. David, Ooh. please. Ooh, this is gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. Mom is clearly fighting to hide her disappointment. Which, of course, just makes this worse. It's gonna be bad. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. We do this later. I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. She's my mother. Okay. If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? Like how to have no job? Oh my god. Or how to be a soldier? Jesus. Jesus. Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. Damn. You have a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? Someone needed my help. Someone needed my help. Who? Your friend Rachel? Because I think the daughter of the DA is going to be just fine. I need your help. Me. True. The mother. True. We need to get our own house in order. That's... Yeah. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I care about Joyce very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the... incident yesterday. If you improve your attitude going forward. Incident? Uh -oh. oh, no. What incident? Uh oh. Chloe was incredibly out of line. She insulted me, swore at me. You rat. But with an apology, I'm willing to start over. I should stop it. <laughs> should I? Uh. Uh. I mean, her mom really wants this, and you have screwed up a lot. You can ease this a little bit. Like, 
just give them a little and then do something bad because you know you're about to sneak out to go to the junkyard or something so let's just say sure sure reset button pressed i am glad to hear it from now on i will be assisting your mother in a few areas like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol <laughs> i mean you know mom chloe like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. Ooh. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Ooh. Mom. I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I think she's I know, like, Chloe. Tired. I think and she's I'm tired. I'm sorry, but David feels Joyce. We feel this is the best way to start fresh. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. Ooh. I mean, I don't have anything. Right? Chloe doesn't have anything. I mean, she doesn't have anything. Right? Am I going crazy? Does she have anything? No, she doesn't. Because... What's his name took the stash? He doesn't know. Yeah, sure, why not? Fine. You want to see my shit so badly? What is everything? Oh. oh no. She did. The horror. Oh, she did. Oh. Ugh, I didn't realize. Damn, I didn't realize. She oh, whoops. Whoop. It's marijuana, all right. Oops. No, Chloe, I am not happy. But I am relieved that you came clean. I hope this can be the beginning of a new chapter for us. Oops. <laughs> Oops. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. I didn't, what does that mean? I did not realize. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. Oh, God. No fucking way. Chloe, after everything that's happened, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. All right, now she's angry. Anger. During your, during your trial. I get it. Oh, let us go. Here. Mom, I, I, I know I fucked up. I, I'm a fuck up. I'm sorry. Are you sorry? You don't even know what you're apologizing for. I've been shutting you out even though I've needed you, and you need me, and I know that. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. <laughs> Damn. I admit, I wouldn't have complied if I remembered she had the weed on her. I completely forgot. I don't know why. I think I stole the weed from the day before. For some reason, I just assume she didn't have it. Hey! There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over.
this thing is a mess. But maybe I can fix it. Oh, that's what we're doing? If this beast... <laughs> Bam. Oh, there's a few. Hold on. Test my room. If you want to hang. Oh, he did actually text me that. Whoops. I'm sorry. Urgent fire weather update. Akimi Bay Forest Watch. SD wildfire. Oh, oh, that's still a thing that's happening. Members of Blackhawk community, please be advised that a fast-moving wildfire has recently. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. We'll never run again. The first thing it needs is a new battery. Get battery. Wonder if I can find one around Rachel. here. All right, so that's what we're doing. Isn't that Rachel said? Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. That's usually a red flag. That's a pretty big red flag that you probably shouldn't be messing with. I guess with. I'll never ride one of these again. That's so awesome. All right, let's see. Looking for a battery. You're a long way from the beach. Does this have a battery? This does not have a battery. This truck looks pretty put together. Actually, she should just fix this one. I, well, she can't really get that blue off. This thing looks somewhat new. Yeah. Maybe the battery still works? It looks brand new. What are you trying to hide under there, kid? That'd be nothing. Okay. Oh, there we go. I see what you're going to do. Okay, there is a battery. Here we go, the pick of the litter. Who the hell got rid of, well, I guess the door is off, but I mean, that's a pretty good, I don't know, whatever. I, w I probably would have tried to get that uh, boot off instead. Don't tell me what to do. So stupid. She's such a rebel. Don't you dare tell me what to do. You don't tell me what to do here. Orange, black, on black, red, on red. Oh. She's carrying a bag. There's no keys. Why would there be keys? Is she gonna do some magic stuff where she like shoves the screwdriver in the uh, hang on. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. How does that that's never been a thing before? I'm I'm gonna try that. The next time I'm somewhere. I'll make sure I have a screwdriver on me at all times. It's a yeah. flatbed screwdriver. This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. Uh, let's look at that. Probably oh. a good idea to cover over this with something. The, the, the thingy. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. Can't find what else. Dashboard. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Okay, so a light bulb, something for the seats, and something for there. All right, let's keep an eye on her. 
I have a feeling that towel I can use to cover the seats, right? The beach towel. Okay. Let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. Where is the beach towel? The beach towel is over there it is. Pretty sure this I could use. This could cover that torn seat. See? And look awesome doing it. I knew it. I had a feeling. I had a I got a feeling. Put the dower limos on the seat. Wow. That's actually really, wow. That's actually really good. <laughs> What is this? Light the way, Robo Bulb. Nice. I got a little blue bulb. What else do I need? I need something to cover or something. Up next, a local band called Pisshead is blowing mines and speakers throughout the bay. That means I'm about to get that. No. Hey, he got a little a the song is there. Wonder if there's treasure buried nearby. <laughs> Alright, um what else do I need? I need something for the um for the the bottom of the, the thing. The, uh, I know one fire that doesn't need any poking. Is it this? Four or Something. Well, I guess that could be for the uh, the floor. All right, we got all the stuff we need. We got some blue light. We got some uh, golf uh, coverage. This is gonna be my new home. <laughs> this vehicle's gonna be my new home. Oh, clothes. Never mind. Oh, let's see. Sure. I mean, that's cool. That's cool. She's trying to impress Rachel. This is going to be her first date. Well, second, third date? Yeah, but does that work? This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one, too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still... How sweet would that be? She's still wearing the exact same clothes she wore the day, the day before. Go home, take a shower. Yeah. Then leave. Frank, it's Frank. Oh, hey Frank, what's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? What about, oh, uh, like drugs? Frank. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. What? The junkyard, that's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And Frank? That wasn't cool. Fire fan? I'm not in trouble or anything, right? Like Probably. in general. Oh my or god, look at the to you. fire. We'll see you soon. That was a non answer. That was actually a non answer. And it's crazy the fire in the background. I didn't even realize that. Oh, okay. I guess she's just gonna chill. 
Time for a hard-earned smoke break. Looking good, Robobob. Nice. Graffiti. You only get one chance to make a first expression. Mystical dragon. It's very mystical. What's it look like? The eye sees all. What else? What else? Talk to the horn. Smoke. Let's haunt. <laughs> when you're bored. Thank goodness for that. Oh no, her nightmare. Shit. I slept all day. Wait. Oh, that's weird. What the hell? It sees all. I'm telling you, she's the crow. Um. <laughs> uh, no. What the hell? Dad? Just grab a grab a stick, grab a marshmallow, turn it into I've actually done this once. Um I uh I had burnt marshmallow quite some time ago now. Like when I was younger, I I think I was in Boy Scouts or something like that. I don't even think they have that anymore. I don't even think Boy Scouts is a thing. <laughs> but um, I remember there was one point where we had... We went, we got sticks, and then we... Um, we had marshmallows, and we burned the marshmallows. Ate it with just a random-ass stick outside. Animals could have, like, pooped on it, peed on it. All sorts of crazy stuff. And yeah, it didn't matter. Certain things you don't think about when you're a kid. Now that I'm grown, I see a stick on the ground. I'm like, what's that stick's story? Amazing, what isn't it? it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized, too. I'm in a nightmare, Dad. That's why. See? 
You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Uh oh, okay. Danger? Fire blinds us, just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence, with loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. I knew he was going to say beauty. <laughs> That's such a... Oh. Oh. But sometimes, there's a greater beauty yet to come. Like after the, f the flames are consumed and everything? Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Um, careful of what? Oh, no. Of getting burned. Oh, no. Oh, no. Someone get her some therapy. Jeez. Oh, this is 2000, what, nine? People weren't really doing that back then. <laughs> it's crazy how much, um, wait, what is this? Like 13 years change things? Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. In the car, though? Okay. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, she packed her bags? Why she has? Is she about to leave here? Chloe's wifey, she opened the door. Damn, you've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A rainbow towel? A cool blue light? Holy shit. You all seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it can't hurt to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. Always thinking ahead. Chloe. This is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. What the hell? <laughs> like, for us to run away? Oh, I, I guess I wasn't thinking about it that way. Are you getting cold feet? I thought you were all bye-bye Arcadia Bay last night. I still am. I guess. You guess? It's not so easy. This truck doesn't even start, and we don't have any money. We can figure all of that out. I have no doubt. Besides, <laughs> there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually expelled you. <laughs> Why not? No reason to prolong the inevitable. Yeah, it's, like, it's not like It's definitely like... Blackwell's loss. You <laughs> covering for me was amazing. I don't know how to thank you. <laughs> Whatever. You tried to cover for me, too. Tried and failed. <laughs> I guess we know who the better liar is. Or maybe my lie was the one he wanted to believe. It's probably a lot of that. At least too. Wells has no idea yeah. what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Wells? Rachel, that was more than pretty wild. You went absolutely nuts last night. What the hell were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But now you're in on it too. What, what, Accessory uh, after the fact. Whoa. Unless you tell on me, of course. I'm no snitch. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. <laughs> he announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh. Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Yes. 
Hundred percent. Hundred percent. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Well, maybe not from you two. Or someone else. It's gonna be a problem. Well, Doc. let's go with fire so my new friend who everyone thinks is perfect did something that shit fucking nuts so last night what do i do this perfect friend of yours who i'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life <laughs> someone who is also nope. may i add a knockout in the looks department. Perhaps this friend of yours, who, I reiterate, must be just stunning, needed someone in her life to teach her. How to steal wine from yuppie picnickers? How not to give a fuck? Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That makes sense. Let's do... That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. <laughs> it sucks. Too blunt? Sorry, I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just, ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Damn, that was quick. Of course. Don't save us, you don't want to be saved. I kind of fixed the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid upshot i'm closer to becoming a car thief <laughs> that's pretty badass wow that's so sad though do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore you're just whatever think you a, think other people want you to be i think a lot of people are like I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. <laughs> talking about My you. dad doesn't really exist. Oh, never mind. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You couldn't be like him even if you wanted to. You're too awesome. Okay, wait. The fact that you believe that makes me feel better. Shit, it's time for the play. As if my life didn't have enough drama in it. Good luck. You know you're never supposed to tell an actor good luck before a show? It's bad luck. How is telling someone good luck bad luck? <laughs> You're supposed to say, break, break your leg. leg. Mm -hmm. That's dumb. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. These two are their own worst enemies, though. Like, I, I get it. It's Wait, like, hey, you forgot around. your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lam. Drive safe, Chloe. Oh, that's new one. Oh my god, they're so into each other. Have they kissed yet? <laughs> I 
What's happening? Why is that? What's happening? Is he just gonna live in the junkyard? Hello, junk shack. Okay, let's see this. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm probably gonna turn that off because, you know... Where is this? Time to check out Lisa Anders' mystery bag. What is this? This was yeah. <laughs> she is a nerd. All right. Can I graffiti this wall? I can. That's what I wanted. This whole time, that's what I wanted. All right, what else? What else can I do? Prop up, yep. She's really turning this into like her room. <laughs> you need a door, get a door. Is this going to be some sort of like raccoon or something that's just going to wander in and then. This place is the shit. It's <laughs> it. Hang that in front of the doorway. Or on the wall. Cool. It's time to talk about the elephant in the room. This elephant. Fucking rules. Cardboard. What else? Dig in a bag. Okay. A bag full of clothes. That's cool. I mean, she didn't have to do that. She did that. that was, that's, yes, I need those. Bad. I know. Get changed. Jeez. Get changed. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. Uh, no. I'm not moving. Did the game freeze? What happened? Oh. It It's only showing me one thing. I guess that's what I'm wearing. Jeez. Oh, that's, di that's different. Can I actually change or something? All right, let's see what else. There we go. All right, so Rorschach stuff, bone sockets, Illuminati, hot dog man, punk dough. Let's go with the Illuminati. Let's just talk about it. Yeah, I'm cool with that. That's fine. All right, let us get out of here. I'm about to jump out of here. All right, so. Before I see Frank, that is actually going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, in the next one, we'll see Frank and, I don't know, discuss things, whatever he wants. I don't know. Anyway, I'm Art. This is Chloe. And join us both in the next one. Thank you very much. Take care. See ya. Frank's outside. I should get going if I'm done changing. Nope, not yet. Take care later. Bye-bye.